these refugees, they are coming to see us. They don't have any family member to rely on except us. 35 refugees from Afghanistan are here in Knoxville right now. They're safe and sheltered thanks to Bridge Refugee Services. But now comes the hurdle of learning the language and culture. Reporter Caitlin Keenahan spoke with a local church who's helping two of those refugees navigate the American way of life. After suffering instability, conflict and control from the Taliban, 35 Afghans are now safe in Knoxville, Tennessee. Refugees are people who have sought safety. Those refugees came through Bridge Refugee Services. You know, when they move in a new country, they don't know anything about that country. Many didn't live in a house. They lived in a refugee camp for many years, so you have to teach them from one to Z. Drisela Mugorawera knows that firsthand. She came to Knoxville as a Rwandan refugee in 2009. Integration takes time. Even though I was educated and I had high uh, school diploma, I had college, it took me seven years. But Mugorawera needed help from community members to get where she is today. That's where volunteers like Central Baptist Church comes in. We got involved with Bridge Refugee Services and were paired with two different families that had recently arrived in Knoxville. The church will provide the refugees meals, transportation, English tutors, and life skills courses. One of the families was just could not say enough. I love America. I love Americans. They are so thankful to be here and they are so appreciative. And Bill Williams says it's our job as Knoxvillians to be welcoming as always. And I think we continue that kind of outreach with this kind of program, say, come and be a part of our community. Let us help you. Let us love you. That was Caitlin Keenahan reporting. And if you're interested in helping to acclimate these refugees, go to bridgerefugees.org.